It's very far away and it's very high. So many stairs. Out of all little touristic streets, I'm gonna choose uh, <laughs> the tiniest ones. If I had the choice to try any of this boat, I will take this one. And I've got uh, Albatros, <laughs> who is looking at me. And I already woke up in Barcelona. It's gonna be an amazing day today. I'm gonna go outside now. It's uh, 9 a.m. and the first bus already started running from uh, Plaza Catalonia to the hotel. I got camera, I've got my bag, everything here essential. Okay, let's go. And water, some most important. It looks like it might rain, but hopefully not because it's very gloomy outside, not even sunny. And I already made it, uh, the bus is just here next to the hotel And there is the stop number 9 that's gonna take me home back And I've got the schedule here The price for one person is um, 30... No... Oh yeah, 30 euro For two days uh, it's 40 euro Maybe I should have taken it yesterday <laughs> Woohoo! I'm the first one! <laughs> Empty! There is a couple just downstairs who are gonna join me As usual, I've got my headphones, I've got the guide Oh, a little guide I've got the map, but the two routes. Wow, and this is so beautiful, guys. Nice, right? Wow. And get what I see already? The Sagrada Familia. Okay, so here is the tree, guys. So uh, you can buy tickets now because this is Sagrada Familia and everybody wanna go inside. But the entrance is only at 6:45 p.m. So that means that uh, in another uh, 12 hours, no, in another maybe eight hours, I can enter. So anyway, let's cross the road, take the bus back, and go to the next stop and to get some breakfast also on the way. Now my lesson is learned. It's very cold outside. It's windy, so I decided to stay on the first floor, on the ground floor for just a few stops. Um, the ticket at 6.45 is actually good timing because uh, sometimes you cannot even get any tickets and uh, sometimes the day is, the full day is not available. Uh, that's why I'm thinking maybe I'll get it and I just will take the bus again and by 6.45 come back and watch everything. I think it's gonna be a good, a good way to see that. That is the beautiful hospital called Sarigincite uh, Modernista de San Pao. Yes, now I know. What is really interesting now, I'm walking to the Park Guer and uh, in general it is a residential area so there are many houses, families with the kids are passing by, there are parks and playgrounds. Park Guer was the place where the um, Count Guer by himself used to live. Everything in architecture reminds of the nature, like these beautiful lines, you're gonna see. Let's go together, I can't wait. Whew, actually it's quite a steep walk <laughs> and without breakfast I feel so weak. Where are you, my croissant? Where are you? And maybe I'm doing something wrong, or maybe I walk the wrong way. It's very far away, and it's very high. So many stairs. This way stairs, that way stairs. I'll make it. Okay, I got inside, finally. And that's the free entrance. I still didn't pay anything to see anything. <laughs> and there is a little terrace and you have to pay to enter unfortunately many things are still under reconstruction and you cannot really see everything properly and there is Sagrada Familia on the background and there is water, the guy is selling and he is very good in these yeah, you, you heard it <laughs> okay, let's go again get ready to wear some very comfortable shoes not like me, but uh, really really comfortable and let's go and that's how the construction looks like you can see it's everywhere sand and the sun is here <laughs> such a nice weather today so picturesque and super beautiful and I still need to choose either to go right or to go left where, where to walk here these balconies I like so much carved from one stone this should be a super big rock that's beautiful 
Nice. Hey. Hello. How are you? <laughs> and that also looks very beautiful. And I made it to another place that I was looking for. This I clearly remember when I've been here last time. The columns, but they are built uh, by the angle, so you can see. And everybody's taking photos like with the Pisa Tower in uh, Italy. It's very beautiful. I really would love to know how it was built and uh, like why it's so famous. Yeah, but that's clearly cool, right? Nice. And I can see a lot of groups come here early in the morning already for the tour. And in case souvenir is gonna be the last resort where you wanna buy it, you can get it here, just right there. And that's the park all around me. Okay, let's take the bus and let's go to the further sightseeing spot from the map. I decided to make a break guys, found one cafe with a croissant and I'm gonna have some cafe latte My camera is totally broken, I don't even know how I'm gonna film further because the screen is not adjusted, it's like just falling off So maybe I'm gonna continue um, filming on my iPhone like this So this is the famous house Badlo and if you check it, the best view I think is across the road because everybody is taking photos there but this place is so beautiful because you can, if you can see the architecture, the mines of the fish tails and the uh, backbone of the dragon. So I think it's beautiful. If you can go inside and check everything on the rooftop, it's just so beautiful. And so many people here around taking photos. <laughs> I'm so scared to take my phone out. <laughs> The whole street, guys, is just amazing. Look at the architecture of the regular shops. Look at Lowy. This is the luxurious store. I love it. Another building that I love so much as we just passed by. Check, guys. So beautiful, right? Normal houses, I believe, where people just live, but inside there are shops. So cute. So this, guys, is the uh, initial stop where the bus takes the tour. And there are so many people. Look, the queue literally starts from here and it's all the way there. I put my seat and the next stop is going to be kind of dry, I'm going to go there and uh, hopefully I can make it to the rooftop because at 1 p.m. it's uh, free of charge This is the Plaza Catalonia guys, so I really recommend to take the bus not here but somewhere else There are plenty of stops nearby And now queuing to enter the Cathedral Gothic, it's very tall, very high I plan to go to the rooftop, so let's see if I can make it my first bad news for the day uh, the elevator that takes me and everyone to the rooftop is broken so that's good that I asked before I entered otherwise I will be stuck in the queue I'm sure in general the cathedral is very beautiful I want to go around because they say there is a lot of medieval streets uh, if you just walk 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 around I really want to go and explore and uh, maybe I'll start from that side going all the way around out of all little touristic streets I'm gonna choose uh, <laughs> the tiniest ones <laughs> But there is barely any space in between the buildings okay i can hear music and tourists wow nice wow that's very nice guys a little garden not garden but uh the yard behind i love it i love it can you imagine guys uh, you wake up in the morning you get your coffee ready you go to your balcony you see a neighbor and you say hey and another neighbor it's like, I think if you can stretch your hands, you can just actually say hello in the morning. <laughs> I took the bus one uh, stop further and here I am at the port la 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 check the port, it's so beautiful I, as soon as I saw the little yachts and boats of course I couldn't miss it and a little bit of information for you guys so uh, this is the artificial port remodeled for 1992 Olympic Games but the bridge that takes us across 
it's so nice and it's actually moving you can see like sometimes in the club the floor moves same same if i had the choice to try any of this boat i will take this one because that looks like regatta um that's how i imagine going into the uh, sea and uh, uh sailing you know with these waves and then crossing the o ocean i don't know how it works sorry if i'm wrong but i would love to try this one here and i've got uh, albatross <laughs> who is looking at me behind me is the Barcelona area and people can even do surfing, can you believe it? And uh, the beach is very beautiful. The whole neighborhood, even the houses, smell of the fish, you know, there's so many uh, city restaurants and uh, the smell of this, I don't know, like the fish village. I already come back to the hotel guys to change and I decided that maybe I'll have to put this vlog into two parts because there are so many places and uh, I don't think I can fit it in uh, well, in one part, I changed, that's what I'm wearing now, my most Instagramable dress, a bag and something very warm because it's quite chilly outside. Get ready for the part number two.